I'm Vivek Reddy from the Mount Sinai Fisher Heart Hospital in New York City, and I'm going to discuss the trial results that we just presented at the late-breaking session of ERA 2024. Pulse field ablation is transforming our care of atrial fibrillation, and it has a lot of advantages, and we're actually very happy with, with it as a, as a general approach. But there are a few limitations. One of them is the workflow, which is substantially better than thermal ablation, could probably still be improved a little bit. And second is that while the durability, the durability of, our, of our ablation lesions has been quite good with pulse fit ablation, it's not perfect. So we still have some room for improvement. So in this trial, which was a first in human trial, we used this uh, single shot pulse fit ablation catheter. This particular catheter is unique because it has a lattice framework that's conformable. So the idea is that this device can actually morph to the tissue. It also has a few other interesting capabilities. It's linked to an electron atomical mapping system. So many of the things that we do, we can do with less fluoro exposure, as well as creating an anatomical shell to help better define where we want to place the lesions. This particular catheter also has many electrodes so that you can actually map the electrical potentials. So you could look at the potentials before ablation, and at the end of the procedure, if you desire, you could create an electron, electron atomical map to identify exactly where your lesion set was. So this was a first in human study, and so it's a single arm study. It was conducted at three centers in Europe, two in the Czech Republic, one in Lithuania, the, it, with multiple operators, six different operators. The, uh, while it was a single arm study, and it was a one year follow up with uh, Holter monitors at uh, six months and at one year, as well as transtelephonic monitors that were done both weekly as well as for symptoms. But one of the other unique aspects of the trial, which I think is one of the most important aspects, is that the protocol had a protocol-driven invasive remapping procedure that was around 75 days after the index procedure. So that way, we got a chance to look to see how durable the lesion set was. And because of the way the trial was designed, we went into the procedure with one pulse waveform. And over the course of that experience, as we got the remapping data, the waveform evolved. And ultimately, over the course of the trial, evol evolved from the first waveform to the third waveform, which gave us the best results. The trial was conducted in 85 paroxysmal AFib patients. From a safety perspective, the catheter performed extremely well. There were zero major safety events in these 85 patients. From a performance perspective, it was quite good. There was 100% PV isolation in all patients, and this, this was performed with a total of 10 minutes of transpired ablation time. That is, the time from the beginning of the first lesion to the end of the last lesion. The total left atrial dwell time of the catheter was approximately 20 minutes, and the total procedure time was 60 minutes. And the total fluoroscopy time was an average of six minutes. In terms of the effectiveness of the procedure beyond the acute PV isolation, the clinical effectiveness was quite good. In the full cohort, the success rate at the one-year time point was approximately 82%. But probably the most interesting aspect is the durability. I said that the waveform evolved from the initial to the final waveform. With the final waveform, when we did the invasive remapping, we had 99% durability on a per vein basis and 96% percent on a per patient basis. So these are uh, quite encouraging results that we were happy with. When we think about the next steps, we can think about some of the limitations of the trial, which is relatively limited number of operators and centers and a limited number of patients. So the next step is really to conduct this same sort of uh, study in a much larger population with more operators, more patients, more centers.